Hey, do a little uh, Murder in the City guitar lesson here. This is basically the way that uh, Scott Ava plays it live. I don't think it's exactly what the recording is, but uh, it's what I've basically picked up off some YouTube videos. I'm sure it's not perfect, but we'll give it a go. We've got the capo on the 4th fret. Um, I think on the album it might be capo 3rd fret, but um, I've seen it live on the 4th fret, so we'll do that. And then I'm also using a thumb pick, too. Uh, he might use finger picks, I'm not sure, but just using the thumb pick. I'll play through it once and then um, and then slow it down for you. a couple times. Um, the way that I learned it and the way that we'll go through it now, I think it's easiest to actually learn the verses first where he starts singing in. Um, so the progression is just a C, um, the, this walk down, uh, I'm not sure it's C with the B, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but basically just um, keeping, the, keeping the first fret B string on from the C chord and then just put in your um, second fret on the on the A string. Of course, we all did with the capo. And then, and then down to A minor and G to F G and C. So obviously one of the keys to this, um, this song is the strum pattern, which um, took me a long time to figure out, but I think I got it close. Um, really slow, it's, um, well the, the one is, is the bass note with a thumb pick. And then the three is a, um, is a little bit of a strum with a thumb pick. Between those, what you have is plucking on the um, B and the E strings with your um, first and second fingers. So you go one, and I just practice that over and over again to, to get that, and then just use that same progression walking down. So it's again, it's one. And then when we get to the G, it's kind of a pull off. I think I did that wrong, but there you go. And you notice for the first couple when I'm walking down here, I kind of do, my strum is hitting the first couple strings. I'm not strumming the whole chord. But when I get to the G, I'm strumming a whole chord. It really gives it a, a neat effect. But so see how I'm doing? Kind of a half strum. Now the whole, whole. And then same thing with the F. You can strum all the way to the E string. And then again, pull off there. time. Um, I 
guess once I get to that G, I'm not really strumming the whole chord. It's more about just hitting the high notes. So that's the, um, you know, that's part A to the, to the um, verse, and then the, the B part to the verse is um, the when I leave your arms, things. It starts at a uh, the A minor. Same same strumming pattern. G into the C. A minor G. Doing that same thing with the G. So I'll do that uh, that B part again. And then you can kind of slow it down to the end. If you actually have a good singer, which I'm not, they kind of do a little a cappella and then you can come back in. Um, Actually, how does that last part go? So that's just a C and the G back to the C. And now, now that we've gotten through that part, we're going to head into the, um, basically the main melody riff. Um, before we do that, let me just, I'll roll through the whole verse one more time. Now we get into the um, to the the riff, basically the intro and um, an in between riff, which is. So you can hear the where the melody really is. It's the. So the way that I'm playing it here, um, actually, you can start with the C, um, which is going to be the one, and then I, I hit the two. Um, so I'm holding the C chord here, and these are really drone notes. They're going to be, I'm not changing these at all. I'm plucking the two strings, the B and the E. Basically, it's with the, the first finger here. So... So that's how it begins. And then the real tricky part to this whole thing is getting your pinky down here, uh, fourth fret on the uh, on the G string. And I use the, the, the thumb for that part. Go through that one more time slowly. You've got the um, you're playing your D string. You've still got your second finger on, on there. So it's and then that string is is your open G. And then the second part to the um, to the melody, you lift up your um, your second finger, move it over to the um, to the G string, yeah. So move the 
second finger over and move the pinky onto the um, onto the D string third fret. So it kind of shapes the chord like that. So and then lift off for an open G to end it, and then you can kind of strum your C pattern. Do that one more time because that's obviously the um, the mark of the song right there. After that little um, melody, like there's a couple things that he that he does, and um, it usually sounds a lot cooler than the way I play it. But sometimes he might do a and then go back into the melody or to, to the verse. Um, another thing, I always find myself playing the song too fast, and I constantly need to tell myself to slow it down. I'm sure even when I played it through the first time, it was too fast. So something that I need to focus on. But go through that uh, that melody part one more time. So and I didn't really go too much on the, the rhythm of it, but you can hear it um, you know, basically in between a lot of the notes you're gonna play these these two open strings. Feel free to uh, comment or email me with any questions. Good luck.